Sorry, I'm a bit oily. Came from work. Yeah. Between sweat and aquifer I use on my face. Ooh. I need to wash my face. But I watched Lost in Space the entire season. And I might get loud. I'm going to try not to. <sighs> Don't waste your money. Well, <laughs> I mean, if you have Netflix, I mean, you know. But it's like, I couldn't imagine this being like a fully fleshed out movie. And like going to see it in theaters. And then wasting my 15 16 $18. Watching this, 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 this is, this is a waste. Okay. Let's just jump right in and let's just get right to honesty. This show is a waste. It has serious potential in the beginning, the first season where, um, this family, they traveling through space. They're literally lost. And then you find a robot and that's just a companion. And everyone, like, he feels like an outcast compared to his smart sister and his other sister who just happened to be older. And, you know, now he got a friend. You know, someone they could relate to because the age gap seems pretty huge between Will and Penny. You know, so it's like, it's you know, and the parents got their own stuff going on. And I think they were beefing. I don't really remember the first season completely well. But... You know, it was great. Then all of a sudden it turned into Oh, we got a space colony. Oh, we got a new we got a, Earth has a new home. <laughs> it's real robots. They're not friendly. <laughs> They're chasing us. We're lost in space space. I found my dad frozen. We're on this other Earth. We're lost. Every planet we go to has goddamn oxygen. <laughs> It's like they never showed them test the air quality. They just always popped into a planet, took the helmets off. Boom, let's go. <laughs> it's just this show is so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Um, and a whole dynamic this season where it's with um, like the most interesting part is with Judy and her dad because her dad was frozen, found him, blah blah blah. Um. But they didn't even, they didn't even talk about that. And it was one part where he was like, um, I went into the cryo thing, like a boy, and I came out a man. He probably was like 21, and he woke up now, he's 45. <laughs> so it's like, they didn't talk about that. They didn't really show the parents. This this became about the kids. And I just seen here, like, when did Will become smart? Because he was so stupid that he didn't pass the entrance exam to get to the thing. In season one, the mom had to fake it. You know, that was a whole thing for like two episodes. He felt stupid because he's stupid. Now, all of a sudden, he has this robot who says like five words. And then now obviously he's as smart as his, as Judy. All of a sudden, then with Penny, everyone's telling her, oh, you're so brave. You're so brave. She was like, she literally kept telling them, you know, now what you think I am? She's not. She's not that guy. I'm telling you, she's not that guy. She's never shown herself to be that guy. And, and it's okay. Like, we got Judy, we got the mom, for whatever reason, they made Will brave. He kept sacrificing himself, and then he does sacrifice himself, but then he lives. And then, at some point, the robot does a We Are Group moment from Guardians of the Galaxy Part 1, puts a shield up from his, his armor, which they never show him capable of doing. And then implants himself spoilers into will's ro medical robotic heart that he just got transplanted into him and first off he's always he's just up moving around and i'm just like dude you just had open heart surgery <laughs> mr smart pants <laughs> just dude this show borders ridiculous at every turn just unrealistic ridiculousness and it's it's just it's really not fair to the audience that we have to be subjected to to this level of malarkey, this level of BS, because like it could have been good. Like and and Smith keeps hanging around and like they keep trusting her with like key stuff. And I'm just like, what? She's teaching French, she don't know French. <laughs> They know she's here. They know she don't know French like the Robinsons. Why is she teaching this damn kids? There was one part she was going through Will's stuff to get his camcorder because he recorded something. 
And then, like, yeah, I'm not going to give it back to you until blah, blah, blah. He's like, give me back my stuff. Well, I'm not going to do that until I have some assurances. Boy, if you don't snatch that camcorder out that girl has, she just went through your stuff. <laughs> what are we negotiating? You have no leverage. <laughs> Why are we talking to her? Why are we doing this? She just stole from you. Snatch your shit. It's just dumb. Like it's honestly stupid. The show is stupid. Lost in Space is one of the dumbest shows I've seen in a very long time, which is very sad because the budget is huge. But it's the, one of the dumbest shows I've ever seen <laughs> in my entire life, dude. And it's three seasons of this crap. It's just crazy to me. Like, just watching it, it's like, this don't make sense. This don't make sense. This don't make sense. Like, we're already in a place where we have to just assume that these kids who have not been alive that long uh, are doctors and astronauts and all this stuff, a bunch of stuff. Okay. Okay. Do you know there's one part, too, where the dad was like, talk to the guy, this guy. And um, he was like, you know, like, they're not kids anymore. And he was like, yeah, they sh but, they but they should be. You should have thought of that before you put them through this rigorous training to be, like, doctor astronauts, doctronauts. But, you know, all of a sudden, they spent a year apart from everybody. And all of a sudden, you're mad about their childhood. You wasn't mad. It was in school. <laughs> like, it was in school to do this. Like, getting lost and fighting robots is not part of the plan, but literally, this is what they was in school for. <sighs> Dolls in Space is so stupid, bro. Like, it's honestly stupid. <laughs> it's not even that if it gets what it said from previous seasons, episodes. It's just stupid. It's just not good. <laughs> and they throw a bunch of CGI, a bunch of action at you, and it just doesn't make it doesn't work out because the plot the story because it's very story driven it's stupid <laughs> like it's honestly stupid like there's no other word for it like there's no sugarcoating what i want to say there's no oh you can't say nothing if you don't have nothing nice say don't say it no this is not good and like you we wait so long for it to come back because it was a gap between the first and second season a bigger gap between the second and third and it just sneak it in and then it's terrible, but it's over now. <laughs> uh, everyone lives. They even, f Robot died, and then he found a way to come back. It's just, oh my goodness. The power of love, and I'm so, I, it's literally, they solved the day with the power of love. And I, I gotta go. I'm like making fish, catfish. I've seen Spider-Man spoilers, and I don't even feel bad watching it, to <laughs> be honest. But, uh, yeah. Don't do this video. Please like, come subscribe. Thank you for watching. It's the end of the year. I'm going to do uh, my top 10 favorite Christmas movies. Um, But, yeah. Uh, I appreciate all my subscribers. We're at the end of the year. It's amazing. But, I'll be back.